Dog, I give thanks to the most high, fam, because we just somehow one day we just fucking figured this shit. We just know. Some of us always knew. But the way how all, all the populace is just waking up, fam, and just being like, yo, like, I love it. This is a, it had to be something God injected into the algorithm. The most high put this into the code. Look, it has to be. Elijah, Elijah Muhammad say the enemy is not native anywhere on the planet. Woo. Bumble. The real chop. They say, and the further everywhere, back you go, sorry, everywhere the further back you go, go, they know the real shit. Go ahead, family. Go ahead. Go ahead. He say, everywhere they go, they cause mischief and blood shit. Mm -hmm. They go to one of the originals and spill dirt on another of the originals and make them war with each other. Then he offered them a truce for yeah. a fee. Yes. And then he arms both sides against each other. Yep. Now, mm. he got two options. If he's trying to take over, he's going to give them equity mm. Boom. under his Boom. roof. Right. Right? Yeah. But if they won't let him take over, he start the shit, and then he walk away and leave them fighting. That's what they did yep. to us. Yes. They told, yes. told us that... The clan that we call vice lords was something called a gang, and the gang mean tribe. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. And they told us their enemy was another uh, clan called growth and de development, and they the enemy. There's a GD. Them your eyes. There's a GD. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He said so they else. told the vice lords the GD. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 wait. You just fucked my head up with something. So you're saying that even these fucking gangs. Were act are actually just uh like remixes of the ancient tribes, right? Because we gonna tribe up in every oh, lifetime. Fuck, they know God our culture. It. I got it. It all, it's just all it's got it. Go ahead, Elder. Holy right. Fuck. So since they know our culture, they gonna make illegal the stuff that we gonna automatically do if we be who we are we're and accept our own. We're gonna all. Oh. Oh fuck! Got it, got it, and that's power. Now they pacify us by leaving parts of the culture intact, so as not to make the people belligerent to the organization pretending to be the government. Mm. So they allowed us to keep Mardi Gras because mm. the last time they tried to take Mardi Gras from the tribes down there in New Orleans, it didn't go very well for the French. Got you, got you. So they placate us with certain little yes. things. Yes. Gotcha. So the the Amaru tribes is coming in from out of what they call modern day Mexico, Arizona, New Mexico, mm -hmm. and they dressing up, honoring the ancestors into walking the Dia Dia de Muerte, mm -hmm. the Day of the Dead. Got you, got you. Right. Got so got they you. tried to take that from them. It didn't go too nope. well. Nope, 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 nope. Got you. In Brazil, they Mardi Gras is called Los Carnaval. Yeah, yes, I carnival. Okay. They tried, yes. tried to take that from the Brazilians and it didn't go too well. Mm -hmm. Certain stuff you just don't touch in the culture, and the people will allow you to exist longer than they would if you take it out of the culture. Got, got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. Yes, 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 yes. Obviously, because it, it gives you kind of like, like I said, it placates you because it gives you a little taste of what you're used to. You know? Right. Yeah, man, I got you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it's like yes, an sir. echo of the memory of who you are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. And it's just it's a pacifier. It ain't the bottle. Pacifier. That's the word I want to use too. Pacification. Got it. Yes. Yes. They placate you, but it's pacification is the big. Yes, that's the chop. Okay. Got you, Uncle. Yeah, man. Definitely. Yeah. Yep. So mm -hmm. they tell us what we naturally do is either illegal. Or immoral, mm. or or out, outright evil. Got it. Got so they tell you that the only thing the settlers feared was the voodoo. So therefore, they villainized the voodoo. Mm. Mm -hmm. They right. villainized the hoodoo, and we mm -hmm. hid it in the Santeria. Right. We hid. I'm I'm saying this is what it is. <laughs> it's facts. It's facts. Right. So <laughs> Castro, Camilo Sinfuego, uh, and uh -huh. um. Che Guevara, yes, they did a reversal using the Three Kings Conjure. Ooh, this reversal.
virtual magic. It's it's yeah. voodoo self defense against the attack of the three ships that came. Wow. So they use some spiritual ancestral magic to defeat the fucking oh wow. The same God. way the same way Haiti did, but Haiti paid a price because they in a warlock. Okay, so for for Toussaint defeating um um France. Right. Because so, it, the conjure was still open. Nobody closed the conjure until like so I had to find the descendants of the ones who opened the conjure in order for them to close it. That I had to do that like a year and a half ago, two years ago. Dang, these that didn't close the conduit. They left the conduit. Right. So oh. so they stuck in a warlock. They can't experience the bounty of the Oshun energy because Shango, Ogun, Legba, they raising hell. They stuck in war mode. They the war gods coming through. Right. Now, who oh. had an understanding of what was going on was Papa Doc. Oh, shit. That's, that nigga, they said, well, that's why he, he was, right. They said he was evil, motherfucker. <laughs> that nigga was evil. No, it was Baby Doc. It was Baby Doc was evil, not Papa Doc. Right? It was Baby Doc. Papa Doc was the, was the head of state who dressed like Shango. Yes. In the public. Yes. yes. Right. But, because he was honoring the war energy so that they can be aware that they were still in the war protocol. That's why they're not getting no relief from the foreigners. Wow, uh, because the foreigners know what time it is. They know they're at war with them niggas. The niggas know. No game. So, right. Now, Baby Doc became classified as evil because of the infiltrators that was in-house. Yeah, I didn't say he was really evil. I'm just saying how he was portrayed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, anything yeah. that's anything belligerent to the invaders is classified as wicked, evil, and dark. Exactly. And they, they when we use, and when we use in the conjure to defend ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. They 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 write us up as the most evil and vile people. Righteous. I got you. And the same right. thing I'm doing, Genghis Khan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they was the ones trying to invade the Mongolians. Yep. The Mongolians wasn't trying to invade Europe. Exactly. It was, it was them same ones. Just like, yeah, you you know it, fam. And, who did, and they write the story. And backwards. when they was fighting them, who was the Europeans taking the slaves during those wars? The Mongols, the black people. When they got kicked out of Europe, where, did they leave them there? Say that again? When, when the Moors got kicked out of Europe, uh, did they leave their, their Mongol slaves there? No, they, they didn't, did they? No, they brought them with them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and by presidential decree, called them chiefs and allowed them to sign treaties as if they us. Oh, yeah. We call we call them motherfuckers Native Americans now. Those are the Mongols. Those are the. Yes. That's how they got here. They, we we are, oh, they telling us they came oh. across the Bering Strait. Ah, they came with us. They brought their whole culture with them. The TPs come from the motherfucking Mongolian and the Huns. Right, the, those yurts and shit. It's a different type of yurt. Yes. Got it. Got it. <laughs> it all connects, people. It all connects. <laughs> Look. Yo, that's they, amazing. They had you thinking that we was dressed in our ceremonial Mardi Gras dress every day of the week. Right. Bullshit. Right. Nigga, we had pants. <laughs> we had t-shirts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we had long giants. Just like we just now. <laughs> that was so wild. I right. I had dreams about that. I've had dreams about that where like I'm in the past and I'm wearing the same thing and I'm like, yo, why does everything look this like yo, seriously? And and I would tell people that. Like, even now I talk about it, like the teepees and stuff. Like, even when you see certain people in the bush with that stuff, they're actually just on camping trips. Those are yep. them on camp camping trips. That's not that like the real homes or nothing. That's a camping trip. Now you gotta remember. We was all migrating from the west to the southeast to fight the Gullah Wars. We was migrating from the north to the southeast to fight the Gullah Wars because Big Mama called us to war down here. Let's go. Let's go. When the Mississippians got there, that's when they started telling us that BS and the Seminole Wars, runaway slaves joined with the natives. Right. right. Yeah, we know. It was us. Hey, and remember, after the Spanish American War, which was really the quote unquote Moorish American War, the native versus the Spanish war, right? Conquistadors. They, the Conquistadors, right? They made it illegal to use our original name or language. Like if you use it, cut your tongue out type shit. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So back then they erased the names off the maps, everything like that, removed us from all reality, just like these dirty, you know, pigs would do. That's what the conquerors do, right? 
So we yeah. stored records. We stored tribal records in, in caves. Uh, uh, the Grand Canyon. They're still there. Grand Canyon. They're still there. Yes, sir, of course. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, so all of the national parks Ooh. have a records bureau of the tribes. Yeah. They, they know who, they know who, they know who we dog from Mexico called the Zolo. It's the dog that's the uh representation of Anpu or Anubis. Yeah. Tribes of Samoans in America. Tribe of Tongans in America still practicing their culture. Joker. Crazy. Yeah. Hawaii, Hawaii ain't never stopped fighting for they. They, outside. they just wrote it in the books as if they was part of America. They ain't got shit to do with America. We see why it's going on. Right? Volcanoes is erupting, OG. I'm saying. It's when been the people, a minute. Look, they, when, when the people down there, the, the, the real clans from Hawaii, they know what to do to make the land protect them. They just think start activating certain nature forces to protect the land. They know what to do, and they know when to do it. Come on. Why, for, for them not to do it, it got to be a reason. Yeah. Cook up on their ass. <laughs> okay, nephew, I'm going to let somebody else come in and ask a question. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I appreciate cooking hey, with you, dog. Ass up, I appreciate you. All love. You know what I you just want. answered your question, man. That's yeah. all. No, it's all love. <laughs> yes, sir. What's that? That young blood getting me going. Love the young youngsters. Oh, my baby Paige in here. Girl, you better bring your tail on up here. <clears throat> Got my girl Paige Flowers in the house, y'all. Ah! Hi. Hey. <laughs> you no, if I'm here, I got something for us now, right? All the time. What's going on? You got it. What's going you on? You got it. What's going on, Rob? See, you ain't got me started because you start talking about the Federal Reserve, right? Mm -hmm. And you start talking about this money system and how it all goes back to Switzerland. Now, I got some stuff. See, I've been going to work. I haven't been saying much. I've been going to work studying the stuff that you've been saying about the paperwork, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. What we don't know is when you go back to that treaty, Treaty of Bern, right, mm -hmm. in Switzerland, that was to preserve the literary works. What are the literary works for the United States? All of their paperwork. So we didn't realize that their paperwork had been copyrighted. So here you are putting your intellectual property on their copyrighted forms. Then they have 8 million statues and codes, and they never expected us to find out that you had to have a Series 7 license to be able to touch the UCC forms in the first place. Now, ask the people that's selling that damn paperwork, do you have a license? And you say you're sovereign, and you this and you that. But business, you need a license. So you're still under their thumb when you fill out the fucking paperwork from the jump. You see what I'm saying? Thinking that we're going from one end to another, and we're not. And I'm not finished. Hold on. Get him, girl. <laughs> Listen, right? I've been studying from a brother named Keith Little and King L. Bay, right? Mm -hmm. This is a this is a code I want people to understand. This is how they've been fucking us up. 22 CFR 93.1. Service through diplomatic channels. When they pull you over for any kind of stop, right? That officer is bringing suit to you, even if he says it's a ticket or whatever. Before, before he brings suit to you, there is supposed to be service through the diplomatic channel, which is the U.S. Treasury. The U.S. Treasury is supposed to be the one that's the diplomat that goes in to verify who the fuck you are before they bring suit to you, right? They know that they not, excuse me, they know they're not supposed to be bringing suit against us indigenous people. But because we don't know their rules and their statutes, they can just bring suit to us and we accept that. See, if you get your ass on the phone, you call the U.S. Treasury right then and there, they're looking at you like, oh, shit, this motherfucker knows something, right? So in court rules, um, it say that in order for a suit to be established, you have to have a joinder of the parties. 
the joint of the parties is being delegated dual responsibility to the policy enforcer. This is why they call them policy enforcer. So on first contact is establishing a a coming in mutual contact, even if you don't consent. Mm -hmm. The purpose of the Fifth Amendment was to keep you from ever consenting to a joint or other parties. Therefore, you cannot be part and party to the fraud. When you rebel against them, they declare war against you, and they call it a warrant. Yep. The war rant is the ongoing declaration of war established by the Pope and the Crown of England against the organic peoples of the land. Mm -hmm. They originally called it the doctrine of discovery. The doctrine of discovery was the permission slip to establish the chess position as white called the white man's burden to a group of people that would just so happen to be black amores right they tell us the story in mind and blackface because when they do blackface they are performing the pantomime to tell you who's controlling them they wear the blackface to tell us they face look this color but they got on the white gloves. They are exposing something called the black hand. We know today the black hand to be the KKK, AKA the um, Black Brotherhood of Barcelona. So when they had the pale faces on the raids into the indigenous village, he was being led by another white robe that had a black hand that was the most brutal of all other people that was doing the raid mm. but he didn't have on no gloves mm. but he had a black hand mm. clayton motherfucking bigsby the mm. black clansman he brought his regalia from spain and dressed up the ones that he used to block the institutions with because they can't reap the benefit if we restore our tribal structures to the land. Right. So it's all related. So the joinder of the parties still has to take place on the execution of the warrant. That's called arraignment. How do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or stand mute? If you stand mute, the court will enter a plea of not guilty on your behalf. That means the the judge took it up on itself to speak for you, mm -hmm. right? And to issue you a connection to the other side of the courtroom, the other party, as guilty or not guilty, or if you stand mute, the court enter not guilty on your behalf. Now the parties is officially adjoined. We have to bind this. So the judge sets a bind. The burden falls on the person who falls in the category of imbecile to execute the bond. In other words, we're going to hold you for collateral for the bond of this subject matter. They have subject matter jurisdiction because it's only their subject. They just don't have the jurisdiction of the person. But since you're so straw man can't speak for itself and you don't know that they holding your straw man, they gonna hold you hostage right. until somebody can represent the interests of the straw man by putting up credits known as fiat currency in the amount issued by the judge. Right. Right. And this is this is the thing that gets me to what we didn't know, right? I look at, this was blowing my mind too about the real post office and I've been telling people to go look this up, right? That at one point in time, the court, the real courthouse was connected to the port, the, the uh, post, post office, right? There, Master General. Right. And so we was never supposed to be dealing. That's tribal. With any, right. We was never supposed to be dealing with any administrative courts. You look at the register agent for the post office which is 
the U.S. Uh, United States Postal Service, look at their cars. They don't have plates on their cars. They have numbers on their vehicles. See, every other agency has registered plates on their vehicles because they're all corporations. But they have numbers on theirs, right? And we didn't know that our homes were actual military posts because of this number system with us having registered addresses. Right, those are barracks. Yep, yep. We all living in the barracks. That's why they gave us meritorious manumission under the Emancipation Proclamation. Yep. They liberated us from private ownership, in the, as they say, and allowed us to freely roam the land as trustees under meritorious manumission. By doing such, if we can keep our tax quota, they will allow us to unmolestedly roam the land but we have to abide by the rules and their policies that they put forth as codified doctrines of law. Right. Right. We have our own legal traditions that's from the land that they try to stifle and suffocate. Right. What they call public law is the regulations of a foreign military entity um, exercising this occupation over an occupied territory, right? right? They have to have a set of rules to prevent the occupied, the occupants of the occupied territory who are right 